59 have died and 500 have been injured after a gunman opened fire at a Las Vegas concert. Good evening, it's Monday, October 2nd, and we have the latest on the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. It all began when thousands were in Las Vegas for a Harvest Festival featuring country artist Jason Aldean. It was multiple minutes into the concert that the that a gunman from the 32nd floor of the Man- Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino killed five, opened fire, killing five, 59 and injuring more than 500. He soon killed himself. The hotel remained on lockdown for hours as families began to search for those who were at the concert. The suspect has now been identified as 64-year-old Mesquite, Nevada resident Stephen Paddock. A search warrant was served in his Mesquite, Nevada home where officials believe more weapons were stored. They ended up finding 18 guns, explosives, and multiple rounds of ammunition. Now, in that hotel room where he shot the concert goers, police found 17 guns, including two that were modified. President Donald Trump also made remarks today. Here's, what, here's part of what he had to say. We cannot fathom their pain. We cannot imagine their loss. To the families of the victims, we are praying for you, and we are here for you. And we ask God to help see you through this very dark period. In moments of tragedy and horror, America comes together as one, and it always has. Now, the gunman's rounds of gunfire lasted for about 10 minutes as police were searching for him. Here is part of what that sounded like. It is unclear at this point. However, the fear tonight is that more people will be pronounced dead in this already tragic incident. Now, this has already, as I said, taken the, li- taken the life of dozens of innocent civilians going to a concert, something a lot of us do uh, pretty often. Now, we will have much more on this story tomorrow on a News Digest and as more information becomes available. Thank you for watching this Digest. See you back later tomorrow.